All right, what's going on, guys? New Force, bringing you a brand new video, and in today's video, I'm bringing you guys yet another COD World War II video. And in today's COD World War II video, we have another variant review video. And in today's variant review, we are going to be using the SVT40 A no OAO. And uh, this is basically what we're going to be using. We're using this epic version right here. I don't have the Shack Man, sadly, but I do have this AOAO. No, it's O yeah OAO. There we go. Just making sure that I'm saying it right. And then it gives us a 10% soldier XP boost, of course. And this is the class we're using today. We're going to have it with the infantry division, rapid fire, grip, and quick draw. And we're going to have a secondary of a P08 with a frag grenade and gunslinger. With that being said, we're going to have two games of TDM using this weapon. So with that being said, let's hop right into the video. All right, so for our first game here, we have some TDM on London docks using ourselves the SVT-40. O A O. This variant looks amazing. Okay, I had no chance of killing that guy, but I think I'm gonna have to put on extended mags on this thing because this weapon runs out of ammo so quickly. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna try extended mags on there. It might work a little bit better. I have no idea. This weapon just it isn't very good in my opinion. I feel like if they were to leave one weapon out. For the uh, infantry prestige, it should have been the bar, because the bar is just that good. But I'll get a triple kill with it, you know. I'll just get a triple kill with it. But it does kill in two bullets, so that's a nice thing about this weapon. I just don't know how I th I just don't know how I feel about it. Like some games, you'll be absolutely shredding people, and then the next second, you'll be getting absolutely shredded yourself because it has such a slow fire rate, and it only has ten bullets in a mag. Okay, we're gonna run this way I'm gonna try to come up behind him hopefully I'm coming up behind him if I come over here okay so my soldier just screamed I don't know where these people are oh there's one and I got an assist one off of that recon aircraft for my team and I get an assist okay but teammate got one there we go that's good we're completely demolishing as a team too we're currently 20 and 8 as a team that's really good. Here we go. Recon aircraft in your area. We got ourselves a recon aircraft. And I just completely choked my shots. Like, sometimes the shots on this weapon just, like, don't either don't register or the recoil is just a little bit too much for me to handle. I don't know which one it is. But sometimes they just... The shots just don't work for me. And for some reason, this guy just knew where I was. Because he was pre-firing me. Or he wasn't pre-firing me. He just, like, has some crazy fast reaction time. That guy's weak. Okay, teammate got him. Oh, I somehow killed him. Let me pick up this grease gun. I'm gonna need it for close range. Oh, no, no, no! Run! Okay, they know I'm in this corner. They got a recon aircraft, and that guy's still alive with the Molotov cocktails. Where did he go? There's a headshot. 20 headshots with this weapon, so I mean, I am I am killing some people with it. And I'm level 49 already. I'm almost first prestige, which is crazy to me, because I have not played this much Call of Duty in a while. And I just completely juked that guy, so uh, have fun getting juked. And I just completely choked my streaks once again. But we're 11 and 4. We're not doing bad at all, but the other team is starting to come back just a little bit, so hopefully we can just... Pull away again. Okay, there we go. Enemy bomb incoming. Get to cover. Hopefully that doesn't go for me. And it's okay, it didn't. Good. Recon aircraft destroyed. Recon flight concluded. And that guy knew where I was again. This guy with the grease gun is just completely he's just sniffing me out. <laughs> but we're eleven and five. We're not doing bad. Hopefully we can keep this up. I'm gonna go this way. Ooh, there's a headshot. Ooh, let me pick up this grease gun and run. Okay, we made it out. We made it out. Let me reload. No, again, I just choke my shots in the worst time. In the worst time, the recoil just gets too much for me. I feel like you need to tap fire it a little bit more. I need to tap fire it a little bit more at longer ranges. Even though that wasn't even long range, that was more medium range, and I still had trouble just controlling the recoil. Okay, I'm gonna reload here. 
I was moving on the bus. Save my teammate's life. I'm gonna pick this up for some fully automatic shots. We got him. Let me reload. I'm gonna actually go through here. Never mind. Teammate really helped out right there. I'm gonna pick up this FG uh, FG42 actually. Oh, I wanted to stab him. <laughs> I'm dead. Get out of there. Okay. We made it through. I I can't hit shots. There we go. I hit that shot. Run. Oh. Currently 17 and 6. Let me climb up this ladder. Hopefully I can make myself 18 and 6, maybe 19 and 6, so I can get another recon aircraft. I don't think I'm going to be calling it a recon aircraft. I think I'm going to be calling it a UAV, honestly, this whole year. Okay, and that grenade just came out of nowhere. The randomest grenades always get you. But that's why Call of Duty is just so, just so hectic and fun. Because so much random stuff can happen. Enemy bomb? Stab him. Okay, we're up by eight. We need seven more kills. Hopefully we can win this game. If we don't win this game... Teammate lost that gunfight somehow. I was distracting him for so long, and teammate still lost that gunfight. Okay, we need five more kills for the win. But they're starting to come back on us a lot. They're starting to come back on us a lot. This isn't good. This isn't good. I'm currently 19 and 9. So hopefully we can win this game. This has been a pretty good game so far. It would suck if we would lose. I stabbed for no reason. I didn't even hit the I didn't even hit the stab button, but okay. 20 and 10. 21 and 10 final kill cam. Well, not final kill cam, but just final kill so we can win. Okay, we won. 20 and 10 for that first game. It got really intense at the end. I did not expect them to pull that close because we were completely destroying them in the beginning. This triple kill right here would definitely illustrate that. So, uh, with that being said, that's been the first game, and I'll catch you guys in the next game. And for our second game, here we have some TDM on St. Marie du Mont. Using ourselves, of course, the SVT 40 OAO. Because why would I use a different weapon when this video is about the SVT OAO? Really dumb of me to uh, just continue saying the gun's name, but you know, it's really the focus of the video. So, I mean, maybe I'm just reinforcing the focus. I have no idea what I'm doing. All I know is that I'm juking kids, picking up weapons, or not, or I am, shingles. What the heck? We got him. Let me reload. We do have ourselves an STG. This thing has rapid fire on it, you can tell. Okay. And I finally died. I cannot get my big score streaks to save my life. And they're not even big score streaks. They are literally... Two kills away from my other ones, uh, from my UAV, and I can't even earn them. I'm just struggling right now. But we did get ourselves a UAV at least, so that's good. Okay, where's this guy at? They're over here. No run! Oh, I should have just kept running. I should have just kept going. I was I was too worried about someone being in the other side of the, like, of the other side of the wall. I should have just kept running and gotten to an engagement. Honestly, they wouldn't have been expecting it, I don't think. But can't do anything different now, so we are going to get to cover. That's what we're going to do. And I'm so far inside of this building, I don't know how I just died to this thing. How far in the building do I have to be to not die to it? That's my question. But I guess you just, you just have to be impossibly far into the building to not die to a glide bomb in this game. That's ridiculous. Everything was going fine and dandy until I just died to that glide bomb. I had not raged. I don't rage very much at this game, honestly. This game has been really fun, and I haven't hasn't been very anger-inducing. Teammate didn't notice that he's there. He's gonna die. Wow, dude. He just kept walking aimlessly through the through the area. Well, we got him. We're still in the lead, though, which is good. We're nine and four. We're not doing bad personally, and as a team, we're still winning the game. So I have no reason to complain right now until we start losing this game because the Thunder Rising guy is on the other team again, and he's a complete monster. 
He went 30 and 10 last game out of nowhere. Okay. This big juice guy is just always, always where you don't want him to be. Big juice, just always where you don't want him to be. It's a sad day. It's a sad day. But as I said, we're 20 and 5. I'm sorry if you guys can hear my PlayStation. There is literally nothing I can do about it. Literally nothing. This recording setup that I have, it's it's just literally nothing I can do. I am so sorry. I wish that I had a better recording area, but this is what I have to deal with while I'm at home. So, uh, yeah. But we're currently 10 and 7. Make that 11 and 7. So we're gonna have to we're gonna have to make that better. Make that 12 and 7. See, we're making it better already. I'm gonna pick up this FG, FG42. Because I need some better close range firepower. I'm going to reload. And teammate really hooked us up with that UAV right now. That's exactly what we need. Okay. They do have some people with the mountain division on their team though. Which isn't good. Because then of course they have ghost. We got him. Let me go this way. I'm going to go back through here, and I'm just going to head glitch this. Does this guy even have Ghost on? He doesn't even have the... Just because he has a suppressor attached to your weapon, is that does that mean that you're automatically off the radar? Because that's a little ridiculous if it is. That's a little ridiculous if that's how it is. We got ourselves to right there. There was nothing he could have done. He had to push me. Which is good. I forced him to push me, but that grenade, I did not cook it at all. We got ourselves an assist. Which I honestly don't even get mad at getting because they give you so many points. The assists just give a lot of points in this game. And I, I did get a kill before I died, so that <laughs> that's good. Because now we're up by 19 as a team. We're 17 and 9. This game does remind me a lot of MWR because of the 75 kill TDM, and I really like 75 kill TDM. It just goes by a lot quicker. It makes the games, it makes these videos just a little bit shorter, so you guys don't have to sit through 15 minutes of me struggling and then getting a couple of kills. <laughs> but we're 19 and 9. Hopefully some of you guys are better than me because I, I have been struggling just a little bit recently on this game. We got him. Teammate just completely juked that guy, and I just gotta commend teammate for that complete juke job that he did. Let me get this STG. Not quite sure where these people are. Okay. That's a, that's a grenade. I'm gonna get out of here. This, this building is not safe. As I said, this building is not safe. And we kill- How? How? How am I alive? I don't know how I'm alive. Can I get my streaks? Even though it's the end of the game. It'd be great. Let me get my streaks, please. Just one more kill. Okay, maybe an assist. Oh, I stabbed him. Okay, we got ourselves a glide bomb. And a fighter pilot. Let me get the final kill with the glide bomb. Ah. Oh. 24 and 10 for our second game. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Another episode in the variant review series here on COD World War 2. Today's video was the SVT 40 OAO. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video as I said. And with that being said, this is going to be the end of the video. So this has been the new enforcer. Leave a like and possibly subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys in the next video.